Tuning in for some movie reviews Film flickers and movie reviews Let's hear those movie reviews Film flickers and movie reviews And action! Hi Flickers, uh, today we are reviewing The Keep uh, 1983 B-movie classic? I think it, <laughs> it's hard to say, it's, it's kind of, it feels like it's a B-movie but one that had a kind of a budget of, a, of an A movie but then just didn't yeah I don't know it's weird <laughs> the, the production value on this was high it was really weird there was amazing suits and everything was good anyway uh, it stars Ian McKellen uh, Gabriel Byrne and Scott Glenn as well which is yeah. quite, a, quite a nice mix of, uh, of presence in there really kind of uh, Scott Glenn kind of playing a uh, Supernatural version of uh, stick, stick, stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was quite amazing. Not so blind though. Not so blind this time. Which was uh, which was good. This is obviously ah, this is before he went blind. This is before, this is the story before he went blind. <laughs> definitely. It's um yeah, it's a horror film, kind yep. of horror thriller. Um, yeah, horror thriller. Horror thriller. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, very much in the vein of uh, Wishmaster, really, kind of. Um, the whole yeah. monster, monster-driven uh, horror film. It's uh, an interesting one. Basically, it's, uh, it revolves around a giant stone keep that is in a small village in uh, the kind of the German Roman. Well, they said Romania. It said Romania, but yeah. But uh, uh, basically, <laughs> basically part of the. I was during World War Two, by the way, and. Um, some of the Germans that are, are in that area and some of the uh, the Russians that are working with the Germans um, take over this keep as a, as a base while they're, they're waiting for their advance oh. on Moscow. Um, and uh, terrible things happen as they start removing seals that are holding in some kind of spirit. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> it's it, it, a lot of the effects in this are very good, especially for the time. Um, and the the, the 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 sets, which was amazing when you first go through to the village, you could see that there was they were built purposely for that. They obviously yeah. weren't there before because they were built into the wall and, and all sorts. Well, they definitely but, weren't there before because it's based in because it's filmed in Wales. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was quite amazing. There aren't many Romanian villages in Wales. You don't know. <laughs> I'll many, admit, I haven't many an undiscovered uh, country in Wales. I'll admit, I haven't travelled Wales extensively. So. How many valleys have you been to? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it, it is. It is good. Even the when you eventually see the presence that's w held within the keep, the the effects for that, and even the sort of it, it's like an all-in-one bodysuit kind of thing, isn't it? And um, although the guy is extremely tall, the rivers in it. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Um, but it was really well done. It was beautifully crafted. Um, the keep inside as well was really cool, and even some of the it wasn't too graphic, but some of the twisted things that kind of go on in it and stuff were really well presented and really well done. So the the practical effects are extremely good. Yeah, yeah lots of practical effects, and it's um it's not a jump scare movie as well. It's uh, it's, it's kind of <laughs> <Luckily>. horror. <laughs> For yeah, For it's me. horror. <laughs> It's horror in the old kind of hammer style where it, it builds up the tension, which is uh, it's good. I like I like those kind of horror films. It's yeah, one of my favourite time. And only lasts an hour long. <laughs> so, yeah, it's only an hour long film. Um, Although that's probably because a lot of it was cut. Either because the there's... film, either because <laughs> film footage was lost <laughs> and they couldn't make up for it, or they just cut it completely because there was so the reason. Yeah, the reason, the reason we say this is because there are some very <laughs> odd jumps, such as. Um, well, we do, we do a minor spoiler. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Where the um, where kind of uh, the, the the Scott Glenn's character arrives at a hotel room the same time as uh, oh, the oh, daughter, same of, as the daughter of one of the, yeah. the other guys arrives at the hotel room, and uh, they're both saying about who's going to enter the hotel room. And then suddenly it jumps and they're having sex. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Eva, Eva Scott Glenn's character is, is the oh. fastest mover uh, out there, or, or there's some footage there that's, that, that was definitely missing. What is a secret? <laughs> <laughs> or is that the bit they cut because they don't want you to know? Yeah. <laughs> but it's um, it's a it's a strange movie. It's got a lot of very weird, um, almost arty 
kind of aspect to it, which yeah. I think turned a lot of people off, which is why it's got a relatively low score on Netflix. But yeah. I think it's genuinely worth a watch. It's quite an interesting film. I liked it. I thought the cinematography was very good as well. And it's directed by Michael Mann, which yeah. we, were, we were both kind of like, really? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. And thought, yeah, I, yeah, it is worth watching. I wouldn't say it was the most terrible film I've ever watched. No. It's not, it's not a film to join Netflix for, but if you already have <laughs> Netflix, you should definitely give it a watch. How are we not sponsored by Netflix yet? Come on. It's coming. It, it was coming. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks sure. for watching. <laughs> Bye, Flickers. Bye.